guys, welcome to my channel. It's Gate Banyer, and in today's video, I will be sharing my hygiene routine, the steps I follow to maintain good hygiene. So, today's video is going to be an in depth version on hygiene and how you can level up your hygiene game. Butt hygiene, intimate hygiene, yup, you heard that right, butt hygiene. Um, let's just put it this way if you poop every day, you need to wash your butt every day. And by washing, I do not mean just water. And having said all of that, I really, really, really hope you guys find this video to be helpful. And let's just jump right into the video. So I'm starting this video with oral care since I just woke up, just doing my normal oral hygiene routine, brushing my teeth. I like to go in in between with the Pepsodent and Colgate but I think my most favorite one is the Colgate Visible White Toothpaste and I'm just using a normal toothbrush. And I like to go in between my teeth as well using a floss. It's almost over. This one is literally the last one. I got this on Amazon and I keep repurchasing this. I feel this one is way easy and convenient to use than the original floss where you tear it apart. I honestly don't like that. So I'm just going in between and checking if nothing was left behind. We cannot forget the mouthwash. This is super, super important. I like to switch between Listerine or Colgate. I was using Colgate, so now I am currently using Listerine. It is a lot stronger than the Colgate mouthwash, and I like to keep it and rinse for 20 seconds max. I cannot do more since it's too strong for me, and Listerine in general is too strong. And once I'm done rinsing, I like to take it down to my throat and gargle and finally spit it out. This helps eliminate germs that cause bad breath and pluck and leaves your mouth feeling so clean and fresh. Moving on to my body, I like to rinse my body and my hair, get it ready and prepped. I like to start with my shampoo. I am using Pantene's Bamboo Strong and Flexible Shampoo. I am obsessed with Pantene's scent you guys. It has a really really beautiful scent. I love shampoos that have strong, beautiful scents to it. The best thing about this shampoo is that the scent literally lingers on for the entire week, which I haven't seen any other shampoos do other than the Sol de Janeiro's, but this one is a drugstore product, so it's more convenient. So if you want to smell fresh, use a strong scented shampoo. Also, since this isn't sulfate-free, I use this in between my washes like two times a month. But if I have to go out somewhere or to a party, I definitely go ahead and use this one. I will be going in with a hair mask because it makes my hair super manageable. So the one I'm using is Tresemme Spa Deep Smoothing Hair Mask. This works so great for frizzy hair. And if you live in a humid place, this mask is perfect. It hydrates and leaves it super smooth. It has such a lovely fresh scent to it. And the scent does linger on again, which is bonus. So I'm applying this all over my hair from my mid length to my ends and I'm going to keep this on for 5 minutes. It does say 3 minutes. I'm going to be keeping it on for 5 minutes for that extra smoothness. I was going to tie my hair up but then I realized that I forgot to get the clip inside and I am simply going to let it down. So while that's sitting on my hair, I like to go in and cleanse my body with the Dove Spar Soap. I love using this as my first step as it cleanses so well. The scent is just so fresh and perfect. I love the way it foams up. I have been using this bar soap since I was a kid and honestly the scent is kind of nostalgic. Of course, I do not do this every single day. I mean, no one has the time to do a two-step cleansing routine. But whenever you have had a long day or you you are all sweaty this extra step just make sure to get rid of all dirt and odor and when i rinse my body my body feels super clean and leaves me smelling really good i mean if you use it you will just know what i mean dove is the only bar soap which i feel like i'm getting a really good deep clean so i 100 recommend you guys to try it out so I'm making sure I clean the back of my ear, my neck area, my back. Of 
5 minutes are up and I will rinse the hair mask now. I am going to exfoliate with the Dove's Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk Body Polish. It smells so clean and it gently exfoliates my skin. I like to exfoliate after every 3 days, not only when I'm shaving, it just makes your skin more soft, smooth, supple and who wouldn't want that? So before I move on and shave, I go ahead with the Dove's exfoliating body wash and I like to put this around my butt area like my behind, cleanse it like you would with a face wash on your face and leave it up there while I go in with the next two steps. This just ensures there is no odor and leaves you squeaky clean and fresh. Moving on to shaving, I'm using the Bombay Shaving Company's Sensitive Foam along with the Gillette Venus Aloe Vera Razor. It gives me the closest shave and I love the way my legs feel after I have shaved. Super smooth, I love it. I go over the places wherever I feel I missed few hair and I just go over and redo them again. Of course, we cannot forget our scented body wash. I'm using this newly launched plum body wash. It's in the scent plum. It smells like a fruity perfume to me. So I like to take my washcloth again and lather it up. This might seem too much to some of y'all, but trust me when I say this, doing these steps will make you feel so clean and smelling so clean for a longer period of time. For my feminine hygiene, I'm using Bella's Sensitive Intimate Wash along with a baby washcloth. This helps with ingrowns down there and also cleanses better. This wash has a very, very mild scent to it and is super, super gentle down there. Also make sure you are just washing around and not inside. Now I know many people say wash her with water but I personally prefer using a wash down there because after a long day of work or school or college you want to feel refreshed and this is key to feeling fresh, clean and honestly I cannot go a day without this. So when I'm done with my shower, I like to pat dry and not rub with a towel. Always pat dry. Then I like to apply bio oil all over my behind area. This is something you can apply on your butt and it keeps you moisturized and smells really clean. Absolutely love this fragrance. I did finish two bottles of this one, two small bottles. This is my third one which I purchased in a bigger size. I absolutely love it. I also like to apply this all over my body, it keeps me so moisturized. Again, I do not apply a body oil every single day. If I applied it today, I do not apply it the next day. Got hooked on to this Sebamed body lotion for delicate skin and I use this down there as my intimate lotion. So I only do the step when I have shaved since we need to keep that area moisturized well enough and I only apply this on the top layer, I mean the top area. Moving on to skincare, I like to cleanse my skin with Bioderma Sensibio Micellar Water. It's really gentle on the skin. I like to apply it on a cotton pad and wipe it all over. It cleanses really well and does not leave my skin dry. Directly going in with a serum, I am using one of my favorite hyaluronic acid serum from Isentry. Hydrates really well and keeps my skin soft and supple.
to moisturize i'm using earth rhythms ceramide moisturizer it works really well on my skin it's perfect for normal and dry skin types I am going in with an ice roller to reduce puffiness around my face, my eye and it works great if you have um, irritated skin and calms your skin down. I like to go in with a lip balm and the one I'm using is the Dotting Keys um, lip balm. It has a nice tint to it. It's daytime and we cannot forget sunscreen. I'm using La Shield SPF 50. It's a really nice sunscreen. It does not leave a white cast and blends really well. So I'm going in with a glycolic toner and I like to spray this to my underarm, my armpit area. This helps with ingrown hairs, odor and discoloration. Also, please know that I did this step the next day because I did shave and I would not recommend you to do this step after shaving. Give it a day or two and go ahead with your glycolic toner. For my deodorant, I'm using Nivea's Fresh Natural Deodorant. The scent of this is so, so, so clean. I'm so in love with the scent but the only thing is that it does not last for long. I really hope that it did. I like to go in with the Hawaiian Roomba body lotion from Plum. It smells divine and this scent lasts pretty long on my skin. I love using lotions that moisturize well and have really long lasting scent to it. A quick hack if you want your body mist or perfume to last way longer than it normally does is to apply Vaseline on your pulse points and then you spray your perfume or body mist on those areas where you've applied Vaseline and this is going to make your perfume or body mist last way longer than it normally does. I am using Salt Water Breeze from Bath & Body Works. So I have been obsessed with this body mist you guys. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend that you do. I haven't smelled anything like this one. It has such a fresh note to it, literally lifts my mood kind of scent and lasts for a really long time. I recently started taking these probiotics and it's helping with digestion and maintains good bacteria, which in turn maintains vaginal health. I am looking out for good chlorophylls out here but I'm not able to find any so if you are taking any supplements or chlorophyll comment down suggesting me what I can use and what is good I would love to try them out so let me know I really hope this video was helpful and that you did enjoy if you did then like subscribe and share and I will see you very soon